Oh, there you are, YouTube. Hey, everybody. So I am at Disc Replay right now. Can you see it? Where is it? Right there, right there. Disc Replay, Disc Replay. So we are at Disc Replay right now, and I'm just looking to like fill in some gaps. Those gaps being uh, like I own the entire Rocky franchise and Creed 1, but I don't own Creed 2 and Creed 3. And my buddy AJ Reacts 2, he was at a disc replay recently and I saw a bunch of Creed 2s and 3s and I was like, I need those. So I'm gonna go to my disc replay, see if they're there. I also don't have Glass, part of the Unbreakable franchise, but I do have Split and Unbreakable. And I also need to pick up uh, Day, of the, Day of the Dead. Um, I, I don't own that movie. I own every other Romero zombie film, dead film, but I don't have that one. Um, you know, they're just a variety of things like Men in Black 1. I own Men in Black 1. I own Men in Black 3. I don't have 2. I need to pick that up. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to fill some gaps today. Fill some gaps. Come with me if you're interested. No! What the heck is this? There, there used to be one dollar movies over here. Now I'm just seeing Funko Pops. At least there's an there's an X Men there, but I I want I'm here for one dollar movies. Well, let's see what they got behind the glass and the specialty case where the expensive stuff lies. All right, we got some box sets here. We got some. This is pretty cool. I, I like that sculpt there. Little uh little sculptural thing. Um. Okay, do I, do I need any of this? Just taking a look. Planet of the Apes trilogy, love those. Clerks 3, I, I thought about getting that. Hey, look, there's Chucky. I'm actually watching all those right now. I'm in the middle of them. I just finished, uh, which one was I watching? I was watching the, the Seed of Chucky today. Um, let's see, Friday 13th, Steel. Um, oh, okay. Sopranos. I can just watch that on HBO. What is this weird Princess Mononoke thing? Look at that. That's a different size box. Okay, look at that. We got John Wayne, John Ford, Fear the Walking Dead. You know, I never got into that. I watched all of Walking Dead, but not Fear the Walking Dead. There's that cool Godfather set that I've seen people get. Some other things down here. I have that, uh, I have that Star Wars, the Silver Star Wars, I have that at home. Um, okay. Oh, the Flash. I'm kind of interested in that. How much is that? $4.99? That's not bad. Five bucks? The whole show? Maybe I'll come back for that. There's the bottom row. Okay, Fresh Prince. Alright, Spider-Man, bunch of movies, okay. Um, okay, so filling in the gaps, that's what I'm here to do, right? Looking at DVDs, I see Creed. Okay, here's all three, and that's, what, eight bucks there? But I don't need the first one. Here's Men in Black 2, but look at that. It says Big Lots, they, it was $3, and here they're trying to make it three thirty three. What the heck? And plus that's full screen. I want widescreen. What does that say? Full screen... Um, can't tell, and uh, can't tell. Okay, but I do I do need Men in Black 2. Okay, one of them is in widescreen, the rest are in full. But 333, I should just go to Big Lots and, and get it for three bucks, right? Okay, here are the Creeds. Um, seven bucks for Creed 2. I don't see Creed 3. I think I would like to get them both at the same time, so maybe hold off on that. Here we got some Criterions. Not here for Criterions today, but always fun to look at, see what they have. I think they have some different ones than the last time I was here. Maybe, maybe a couple. Some of these look familiar to me. Cold War. All right, so I was looking for Glass because I own Split and Unbreakable. Six bucks though. I don't know, I'm feeling cheap now that I'm in the store. I'm feeling like I can't spend this kind of money. I'm just mad the $1 section's gone. Okay, Men in Black 3, I don't need it. I need two. I need two. But you know what? Let's go to Five Below, next door. I have I remember seeing movies in here before, and I'm seeing movies now on clearance, 50% off. A Wrinkle in Time, I didn't really like that movie, but here is Solo, and it's marked five bucks, so I assume 
That means it's 250, right? I gotta pick this up. That's a gap filler. I don't have all the Star Wars movies. I gotta get it. Man, disc replay. That was a bummer. Like, they totally got rid of their dollar movie, and I'm sure Men in Black 2 was probably there. Uh, maybe some of the other ones that I wanted were, was in there. But luckily, just next door, five below, they were having a sale, and I was able to pick up. This is this is my pickup, uh, Solo, and I got it for like 250 which was amazing because that is cheaper than anything in disc replay over there. So to, to find a cheaper movie on Blu-ray, 250 that was fantastic. Very excited about that, but still very disappointed. I, I'm sure a lot of people are very excited that they have cleared out a lot of that junk that other people wouldn't buy, but I, I went there frequently and would buy a lot of $1 movies just kind of as a one-time watch, but now everything there is like 333 or higher, so you can't get anything cheaper there, unfortunately. They do have deals, but I wasn't finding enough movies to get those deals where you buy three, get three, buy six, five, get the six one free or anything like that. But now we're going to go to Best Buy because they have those really cool horror sets, or no, is it Walmart? I think it's Walmart. Walmart has those really cool uh, Blu-ray, or yeah, those Blu-ray steelbooks, and I just want to look at those and covet those a little bit. So let's go to Walmart. I'm seeing, I'm seeing some new stuff. It says new up there, but I feel like I've seen a lot of this before, so I'm not sure how new it is. Plus, look how thin that is. Sparse, very sparse. Okay, here's newer stuff. We got those Spider-Mans. I don't, I don't think I'm gonna pick those up until all those movies are out when they put out some sort of epic box set. Uh, ooh, okay, we got the spooky stuff. This is what I'm here for. Oh my goodness, that saw collection. Um. You know, I'd, I'd take that, but I'm. Uh, this is what I want. This is what I really want, the Leprechaun collection. We'll come back to that. And the Firefly trilogy. We'll come back to that. I want to look at those a little deeper, but The Purge, you know, I think they're going to make more of those probably, right? Blair Witch Project and Blair Witch, but where is the second one? Season of the Witch or whatever it was called. Was that what it was called? Hey, the Beetlejuice. I, I love the show. You know, it was Beetlejuice for Halloween when I was a little kid, and I'm pretty sure the suit... I can't get this thing out. I'm pretty sure the suit was based off of the cartoon Beetlejuice and it came with a mask but I remember I had my face painted instead my mom's friend she painted my face instead of me wearing that plastic mask conjuring I I I can never remember which movies are in that franchise I, I just lose track tremors seven what if they make another one Ghostbusters three they're making another one see these box sets here where we know more like Venom we know more movies are gonna happen so what what's the deal why I, I don't know why they think i'd want that but i do want the leprechaun collection maybe they will make more of these but this feels complete and it looks like everything is in it even returns which i think is kind of like a, a remake right like so we got leprechaun leprechaun 2 leprechaun 3 leprechaun 4 in space leprechaun in the hood leprechaun back to the hood uh I, in the firefly trilogy here um I, I have the first two, but I don't have Three from Hell, and Three from Hell is in this, and it's a really cool steelbook, so I don't know, this is something that, that I wouldn't mind grabbing to get Three from Hell, and I just, I like the art, I like the artwork there. Okay, back to Beetlejuice, am I going to pick that up? Am I going to pick up the Munsters? You know, I was more of an Adams Family person, but I like the Munsters too back when it comes to those old old shows look at these these slips glow in the dark i don't know about that one but these green ones certainly do chucky like i said i'm watching those right now but beetlejuice and, and gremlins that doesn't make sense plus you got beetlejuice season one why would you get that when you can get get the uh get the whole box set halloween town not as good as people say conjuring again i don't know which movies belong in that collection birds and psycho okay um, what do we got? Here's all the, like, kids stuff here. Again, I was, I preferred the Adams Family over the Monsters, but nothing against the Monsters. What do we got? What am I looking at here? The Thing. Okay, so it looks like we have the original, and then the Carpenter, and then that remake one. I mean, I guess they're all remakes, right? Oh, wait, no, the new one's like a sequel, or no, a prequel to the Carpenter one, right? I can't remember how that went, because I never saw it, but they have that one in here as well for vampire collection what do we got okay looks like we got three lost boys movies and then queen of the damned what 
one of these is not like the other. Queen of the Damned needs to be set up with Interview with the Vampire, is what they need to do there. We got four critters, we got Final Destinations. Are there only five? Hey, Muppet Treasure Island. All right, that would be a gap filler. I don't have every Muppet movie. I'm missing that one of Muppets Most Wanted. Should I get it? Out of Walmart. Uh, they had they had some good stuff. I mean, those those steel books. I really wanted the Firefly tri Firefly trilogy and Leprechaun, but I don't know. I'm just I'm I'm feeling cheap right now. Um, the closest I came to getting of anything was that Muppet Treasure Island because I had that on my list of filling the gaps. Some Muppet movies I didn't own, <laughs> but yeah, at least at least I got solo filling in the gaps of some of the star wars movies that i don't own and this was on my list as well so i was glad to find this and it's funny i i got it at a place i never think of for movies but i i saw this i don't know a month ago or so four or five dollars and almost bought it glad i waited got it for 50 percent off 250 amazing feeling like a win uh even though i only got, got one movie so someday oh man i don't know i'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna, I, 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 I want to get that Leprechaun complete set and the Firefly trilogy. I love those steel books, but uh, I don't know. Just, just couldn't pull the trigger on it today. Maybe later. We'll see. They're probably selling out, but I don't know. That such is life, right? Anyway, thank you so much for watching this this fill in the gap hunt, and perhaps I'll see you tomorrow for more pure hangout. No!